body. My name is Tinkwa and today I'm going to tell you about carnivorous plants. As you can see, this is a good type of carnivorous plant called the Venus flytrap. The Venus flytrap is basically the one which the stem, the leaves, and the root. And a hard one is a leaf like a mouth. Its mouth is for catching food scents. It is carnivorous. That means it is only eating meat and herbivores. That means it only eats a plants. And if it's an omnivore, it eats both meat and plants. The roots of a plant is the body underground. You cannot see it. It's for collecting water under. The stem is to carry the water up to the mouth, but they cannot absorb that much water because in the water it is it has less nutrients, not all the nutrients they need, so they get the nutrients from animals. They the leaf is for like sunlight, but mm, I think so. Yes, very good. Mm. Okay, okay. Huh. It is inside wetlands and near water. And near water, there's so many water, but not all the nutrients mm. like hydrogen. Do you know why they live uh, in the wetland and near the water? Because I don't know, it depends on them. No, it's not depend. I guess that in the wetland there are many insects. Yeah, I think and so. yeah. It also eats flies, lizards, rats, yeah. snakes. So it's easy for them to hunt no, to the trap. Yeah. Yeah. The bigger picture plant could eat them. Mm-hmm. Thirdly, yes. their diet is they eat insects, small invertebrates. Oh yeah, invertebrates are animals that don't have a backbone. They have an ex exoskeleton like insects. Mm -hmm. And while the ones that are invertebrates like we humans have a backbone mm -hmm. or spine. And they eat vertebrates like snakes, frogs, lizards, and rats. Mm -hmm. The bigger picture plants eat them. Are you going to tell us about how the uh, plant can eat the insect or animal? Okay. Yeah, this is the mouth. When the picture plant is not eating anything, it waters inside will still be Mm, yes, but that's what an um, uh, insect buys, and that uh, it, it, it taps on the leaf hands around. Mm -hmm. the, there will be more water and it'll snap shut. Mm -hmm. So, there are uh, also mm, sunbeam plants. They have moving tentacles. Moving tentacles. Yes. Mm, when an insect lands on the tentacles, a reaction comes and that forces the plants to bend yeah. and roll around the insect that makes it harder to escape. Mm -hmm. Normally, uh, so the, la the, the plant will open and then when the insect fly in, the tentacle will have reaction and close it. Yeah. And trap the insect inside. Yeah. And digest it. Yeah. Okay. Digest it with mm -hmm. acid. Mm -hmm. Ooh, pineapples are also carnivorous plants. Mm -hmm. They they only eat small insects since they are not made for eating big big, big animals or insects. Mm -hmm. Okay, their size are small to big. Mm -hmm. The big ones eat uh mice. Frogs, Have you seen any uh, fly, uh, Venus flytrap? Yeah. 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 Y
before? I don't remember. Do you know, do you remember when we were in Singapore? No, those are only Legos. No. Uh, yes, yeah. you already see. Yeah. We have see only it. saw, yeah. Oh, there are also picture plants or something. Garden by the bay. Yeah, in the garden by the bay. They have but you cannot see the plants and the water weeds. Mm -hmm. But it is small. In the water, there are also active ones that live under the water, mm -hmm. like uh, water weeds and bladder traps. The water tracks are just the same thing as the, the these fly traps only underwater. Bladder trap view uh, like this. When an animal comes near to its bladder under here, it is like a vacuum sucking the animal in and what is inside it gets digested with acid. Mm -hmm. So, what is the biggest uh, plant, do you know? The biggest plant, the carnivorous plant? Yes. There are lots of big ones, like pictures. Yeah. The biggest, there are large pictures, I think that's this. Yeah. Those ones are built for eating snakes, so flies, lizards, and rats, and centipedes. So, when, when they find the, the biggest? Can it but the carnivorous plant? I don't know. I think it must be in the uh, Amazon rainforest, right? Amazon has lots of carnivorous plants. Yeah. This there are more than seven hundred types of carnivorous plants. Yeah. So okay. it's pretty hard to find anything. Yeah, just a bit more about it. Yeah. Okay. There are circles of basic Start from seed, seedlings, uh, a bigger seedling, and then to bigger seedling. They are also called sprout. Yes, sprout. Yeah. And to the adult, one has the mm, mouth the trap. Mouth trap. Yeah. Is it a flower? Uh, no. No. It, it's just two leaves bent like this, and then it will snap shut. Mm -hmm, okay. And the lifespan is depends on uh, um, which type of it. And inside the wild, the wild picture plants can live for 15 years. What does lifespan mean? mean lifespan how long the land? How long it can live. Okay. And, oh, I already tell you. Can you read tell again? Can you tell Pineapples eat insects. Mm -hmm. I don't see the trap in the pineapple. No, it is when it's still on a tree. When pi tropical pineapples are carnivorous, they eat small insects since they're not big for eat and big animals. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, so how long can it survive without water? Forever. Without eating. Without eating, yeah, forever. It will still grow. The forever. answer is? Forever. Yes, the answer is forever. But it grows slower. Like so, if you don't eat, so if what happens? You die. But the carnivorous plant will not die, but it will still grow slower. Yeah, but I guess because they have root and they also take nutrients from the soil, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think so? If, but if you don't uh, uh, give it water or eating it, shoot, mm -hmm. it's dead. But some can live forever. That means it will just live there but grow slower. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it also have a relationship with ants. The ants eat their insects finish and they just put the exoskeleton inside the uh, carnivorous plant and uh, to trick the carnivorous plant to digest it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there are also some types of them, like water weed, lobster pot. Ooh, lobster pot works like this. You can only, uh, at the top there is a flower that keeps the pollinators from getting eaten, but under in the ground there are, are roots 
which worms, by insects, and microbes. There are tiny hairs pointing up to the digestive stomach and then that tells the insect to go all the way up to the digestive stomach, stomach where, where it cannot go out mm -hmm. and it gets digested. Mm -hmm. There are fly tables that also tell the picture plant and bladder. Pictures work like this. It has a, some of them has a leaf like this, like this. Uh, hat over here, and there will be knots around the picture. So then the insect will go around drinking the nectar, but there, inside the nectar, there's this thing. I don't know. And then uh, it, it will just uh, get slippery and it will fly down and get digested with it'll, and it will get digested with bacteria. So that's my presentation. Any questions? No, I don't have any questions. Hmm? I just wonder there any carnival plan in Vietnam? Yes. Uh, except for pineapple. Pineapples? Well, pineapples are in, car are in Vietnam. They're carnivorous, I tell you. So there are carnivorous. Yeah, I, I say except, except mean. Except for pineapples? Yeah, yeah. so there anyone. Bladders, watering, Venus. Uh, Venus flytrap also yes. have in Vietnam? Yes. Okay. Some type of picture plants and live people. So do you know where they live? So next time we can go to rainforests. Rainforests. Yes. Rainforests. So we should go to the lobster pot. Uh, they can live in some weird place. Cook Do you do you know that cook food have some? Yes. But we go to cook food, but we have now we never we have never seen yes. this lobster pots also live in Vietnam, so I'll be in Vietnam but there are still more that we don't know. Okay, so next time you find what exactly the forest have the carnival plant and then I will take you to that forest. Okay. Is this okay? Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.